Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're at Box Park Wembley. With me is the one and only Dion Juma who's preparing to take on Richard Riakpo at the weekend. First of all, Dion, how's life treating you? All good. Um, had an amazing camp and um, the build-up to this fight has been uh, brilliant. Loved every minute. Dion, can we rewind uh, quite a bit because you're a fighter who... Uh, looking into and reading about uh, kind of the fighters as a whole um, you had an injury coming into which you had to kind of come over uh, could you tell us uh, what was the extent of the injury that you were dealing with that kind of blocked your career for a number of years <laughs> we had a torn retina two years ago um, it took a year to heal from it then took another year to get my license back here I am for a four round on um, last month was it last month um, and then we got the opportunity to fight Richard Riappo after Loire was unable to fight and his man was un unable to fight as well so um, here we are big fight huge rankings if I'm right as well it was also a fight for you to get your license back too and you had to fight to, to get that point as well like um, you have to get uh, people involved and really have to fight for that that sounds like to me reading that and listening on the outside looking in sounds like a real hell to kind of get you just sitting here and back here Big time. Um, I'm so fortunate I had a good team behind me. Uh, my team, Acura Partners, um, Stefana Genesis, um, my solicitor who got me my license back. Um, it's been a real team effort to get me back here right in front of you right now. And um, on the big stage, on the major stage, now I'm headlining Wembley. Amazing. What's the feeling then, if you can kind of sum up and bottle up how you feel right now in terms of being being where you back want to be, where you should have been, you know, had the injury not happened, what's the feeling like for you? Ready. I know that's not no big glamorous word, but I felt more, I've never felt more ready, just spiritually, mentally, physically connected. Normally something's always off, whether it be the physical or the mental or something, but I just feel very together right now and we're looking forward to the 26th. Was there a point of having to because of the injury and the st uh, what the injury was, was there a point of having to build the confidence back up and get in, when you get into the ring in terms of kind of building up the in-ring confidence? Did you have to go through those motions to get there to where you are now? Funnily enough with me, I've never had a problem with fight confidence. Maybe confidence of, in other things in my life, but for some reason, whenever it comes to a fight, I know what to do, I know how to train, I know how, what type of mindset I need to be tapping into. So, um, no, never had any problems with confidence concerning this injury or, or recovery, no. You're fighting Richard Riakpo at the weekend. Uh, a lot has been made about the sparring some years back. Tell me from your account, from your point of view, what do you remember from those sparring sessions, if at all, anything? I remember it was, it was a good spar. I remember just being too cute for him. I'm a, I'm a very... I'm a very cute southpaw especially in comparison to him who's like a orthodox come to take your head off banger it just played into my hands and and yeah I outboxed him but a long time ago and um, all that matters is the big stage and I couldn't agree with that more so um, whatever Do you and I got the sense when you two were up there that he was kind of maybe looking to push a couple of buttons, test the waters there. Do you feel that was what, what was going on there? Do you feel that's a fair assessment? Some of the things that, he was that, saying. That he was trying to push my buttons? Yeah, just a little bit, like kind of test the waters with that. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, well, no buttons got pushed, put it that way. And in terms of kind of how you see the fight playing out, what do you think happens when you two get in the ring? I don't want to give too much away. Um, I feel like uh, Richard's got a couple ways now of fighting. He's got a couple ways he can approach this fight, and I'm ready for both of them. In terms of, uh, from your point of view, you're looking for the win, looking to get the win. That's what you're looking to plot to get to at the weekend. Where does a win put you in amongst the scene at the uh, Cruiserweights? Well, according to the contract, a win puts me in a rematch with Richard. So let's beat him once before we beat him twice. And finally, what can people expect to see from you at the weekend? I know you said obviously you're going to look to get the win, beat him once, beat him twice, but in terms of, do you want to kind of put a point, uh, a, a victory out there, a sense of statement to people to get yourself back out there, back to where you belong before you had the injury? You, I expect people to be like, where has this guy been this whole time? Like, who is this guy? 
Um, the display I'm going to put on is going to be epic, to say the least. I think it's an epic fight. He's going to come with what he he knows, and what he knows is to stop people. And I'm going to be there right in front of him the whole time. So um, it's a big fight. Dion, it's a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much for speaking to Boxing Social. I wish you all the best at the weekend. Thank you Thank so you. much.